being involved with storytelling and um, just immersing myself in that river, it's hard for me to separate where my role ends and where the student's role begins. Because to me, we're in that river. Uh, and I like to be there. And morning or night, any time of day, with no matter how many movies or stories, doesn't matter. And uh, I know that we're similar this way. I mean, it doesn't matter to me how many stories keep all those balls in the air all at the same time. Uh, the more, the merrier. Um, it's, it's about being in, immersed in that river that goes deep and runs high. So um, that's what excites me about it. Um, how I approach storytelling or scre teaching screenwriting would differ from class to class to an extent. It'll always start from the place of inspiration and trying to convey a sense that I'm trying to connect with myself about being alive in this moment, not taking anything for granted, including this moment, and imparting that to a student who is there with me, figuring we both have to show up 100% for the experience. Where I first cultivated that sense of the river of story was actually through studying acting with Sandy Meisner. Why? Because Sandy used to say that the river of passions were what was underlying the scene. And the words were just boats being floated on top, on top of the scene. And so when I'm talking about the river of storyteller, I'm talking about the passions and the psychic and intuitive levels of story that are part of that river, that torrent of emotion and other matter, when I think of it in terms of writing, as opposed to the craft elements, which I think are things that can be acquired and can be floated on top of it to an extent. I mean, it is like a birth canal, giving birth to a story. That's why we talk about giving birth to a story. So what happens between a uh, teacher and a student, or a story editor and a writer, is frequently that you're sharing in a birth of some kind. Someone is assisting someone to give birth. And when it's really working, when it's most exciting, time stops. So in a way, you both become immortal to the extent that something else that's larger than both of you is happening. And that is the story. <laughs>